what we're doing today, Han? Um, I don't actually know. <laughs> what are we doing today? No. Good. We've just arrived at IKEA, as you can see, and they have a barbecue outside with a proper barbecue menu. Actually, looks really reasonably priced, doesn't it? And then they've got all tables and chairs set up and a big barbecue. So lamb coffee is about six pound fifty. Yeah. So. The grill is about eight pounds. For a mixed grill. Yeah. It's good, isn't it? So, yeah. Who knew? Right, let's go in and find a bed. As always, we start off in the bargain section to see if there are any bargains to be had before we go and look at all the, um, all the full-priced main bit. <coughs> This sofa is really nice actually. Do you like this sofa? And a matching chair. Not that we need it. Oh look, they've got one of those footstools, Jake. The green. How much is that? Three, four, seven. What's that in real money? Seventy-five. That's not bad. good. Okay. Yeah, two seater though. Oh, is it? Yeah. So this is a selection of beds they have. This one looks to be a decent price. It's about 1300 dirhams, which is what? A few hundred quid? About 270. They've got some decent things in here actually. Loads of mattresses, which is great. So we found this bed, it's called the Slatum. And it's 695 dirhams, which is about 150 pounds. So obviously that doesn't include the mattress, but that's still a really, really good price. So I think that might be our bed. Let's see what Jake thinks. What do you think? It's a good price, right? I think so. I think it looks decent as well. No, it's not going to get used a lot, so it doesn't need to be a. It doesn't need to be a fantastically comfortable bed. Yeah. Cool. Should we write down where it? Sorry. Which one it is. I actually really like this sofa bed. We're wondering if it's gonna fit in the maid's room. There's like another spare bed. It pulls out into a double, which is really good. Um, it just looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I think you can make it look like a nice sofa as well. Um, it's got good money off if you're an IKEA family member. Um, We'll see if it fits. I haven't actually measured that room, so I don't know how wide the space is. It, I think this looks like it's going to be too big. But we'll go home and measure it and see if it fits. So I think that was relatively successful. We found a bed um, that's a decent price for the spare room and a mattress in the as-is section. Um, again, for a decent price. Um, and then we also found a sofa bed that looks really good for the maid's room but we don't know if it's going to fit yet so we're going to measure it and see if the space is wide enough. Um, now we are just heading into the mall so Ikea is literally right next door to Yas Mall so we're going to get a taxi um, to Yas Bay 
from here and then have a little walk around Yas Bay, get some lunch. Uh, the weather is absolutely glorious today. It is about 28 degrees and nice and warm. Nice breeze. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, there's a nice breeze. It wasn't worth an eight, didn't you? No, it wasn't. What did you give it? Generous seven. A generous seven, okay. Um, I thought it was really nice, but it might just be because we were craving a roast dinner. I've been thinking about gravy <laughs> since I got here. Um, but there was a woman on a table opposite who had a roast dinner and then continued to cover it in tomato ketchup and Tabasco, which surely is the quickest way to ruin a roast, right? So, um, yeah, I would give it a solid eight out of 10. I thought it was nice. The meat was really good. Um, eight but, yeah. definitely generous. <laughs> so now we're just walking up um, the waterfront. I'm gonna try and find a toilet and then probably head back home because the washing machine's been delivered, so. We need to figure that out, figure out how to plumb that in and get a load of washing done because we've got no clothes, no pants, uh, no gym clothes. So yeah, we desperately need some clean clothes. The washing machine is here. We, um, we just walked through the corridor and because we had an email earlier to say that it had been delivered. Um, so I expected to see it outside the front door and it wasn't there. I was like, hmm, interesting. Anyway, open the front door and they've actually come in and, and put it inside <laughs> for us so that it didn't have to be sat outside. So I think that kind of sums up, sums up how people do things here. <laughs> so anyway, now we need to figure out how to plumb this in, don't we? Any ideas? Let's see. For the week just arrived um we ordered from spinnies which is kind of like a common supermarket here but they also stock um waitrose and i think sainsbury's as well do they do sainsbury's no just waitrose oh it's kibson's do okay so um they also stock waitrose food in there which is really good so i thought i would just show you a little overview of everything that we got and do a price breakdown of how much we paid for everything. I think altogether this cost us about 86 pounds, the equivalent of. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what, what we got. First thing is an avocado, which was 13 dirhams 25. Three kilos of red onions, which is gonna last us forever. And that was 17.50. We got a Waitrose um, half fat mayonnaise. That was 18 dirhams. We got rice cakes for some snacks. I've been having this um, for my lunch with some like sea salt and some cucumber. 
And for, that's, I think, is about 10 dirhams, so that's quite cheap. Yeah, 10.50. We've also been preparing for Ronnie to come home to us. So um, we've got six tins of Waitrose dog food. We're not sure what we're going to be feeding him, you know, on a regular basis yet, but he's had Waitrose before, so we know that it, you know, agrees with him. So we've got 12 tins. So the one was 40 dirhams and the other one was 34 dirhams. And we also bought him some bones. These were 30 and 25, so I think that's quite cheap as well because they'll last us a while. Where are we going to put Ronnie's stuff in here? We've also got a pack of his um, deli sausages. These are his favourite treats. So I'm glad that we can get those here. 10.50. We've got a pack of six sorbets for 29 dirhams. And we bought um, a kilo of chicken breast for 59 dirhams. So it's 59 for the both of them. So the bananas were five dirham 61 for four. We've got some Waitrose ginger nut biscuits. These are Jake's favorites. Ginger nuts, 12.75. Got some sides. So because we don't have um, an oven yet, we've been um, buying chicken for the air fryer. And then there's a lot of like deli selections here. So if you go to any of the supermarkets, they'll have like potato salad, quinoa salad, couscous, like loads of different selections of salads for the sides. So that's what we've been doing whilst we haven't had an oven. So we got, uh, potato salad and quinoa feta and pomegranate. So we'll have these with um, chicken in the air fryer. I didn't say how much they were. These were, so the potato salad is 21 dirhams for 700 grams. And the quinoa feta and pomegranate is 17.60 for about 450 grams. And that will do us for probably two or three days. We've got some orange juice, because they didn't have any of the big ones, big bottles in stock, so we've got two, two smaller ones. A 6.30 for both. So that's quite a good price. Got some cheese slices. These are for Ronnie, because cheese is his favorite thing ever. We'll probably have to get some proper cheese as well. But this was about eight dirhams, 8.75 for the pack of 10 slices. We got a pack of eight peppers. These were eight dirhams for the pack of eight. This would probably, we do these in the air fryer, we just slice them up and chop them in the air fryer with the chicken. Um, and these will do us for probably three or four meals. We got a pack of six big waters. We will eventually get a, um, a water dispenser for in here, um, just because it works out cheaper to buy, you know, the big, the big cans of water rather than keep buying those but um right now we're just going to keep buying it because it's easy and um, but we will have a water dispenser that you then get coupons for and they just leave the bottles outside the door and you put the empty one outside there and they and they refill it so um yeah so we've got the water bought some fizzy drinks we've got coca-cola light and sprite zero whatever it is and um, these were 13.25 each the bakery we bought four fresh bagels um, to have for lunches and these were 15.75 for four of them and there we go so we got all of that for i say all of that it's definitely more expensive than um shopping at home and um, all of that costs us about 86 pounds so yeah it doesn't really stretch very far up here but um yeah, I'm sure once we get into the swing of things, we will figure out the cheapest way to shop for food. There are other services that deliver groceries like Kibson's that we haven't tried yet. Um, but for now, this is getting us through. We also don't have an oven, which doesn't help things because we're buying pre-made stuff a lot of the time. Um, so once we have an oven, we can buy like fresh veg and stuff too. So we're not buying the pre-made stuff because the, the fruit and veg is really cheap. It's just because we're buying pre-prepared things, they work out more expensive. So, yeah. And also, this is the first time we're buying dog food. We haven't bought dog food um, here yet, obviously. Um, so, yeah, that's going to boost it up a little bit. But...
Yeah, so that's our week.